военно-морского флота. And now the boat is approaching the corvette Sobras Italy. The ship is uh, commanded by Captain Second Rank Dmitry Artemonov. Hello, comrades. Happy Navy Day. The Corvette took its name from the heroic ships of the Soviet Navy. During the Great Patriotic War, the Soviet Italy destroyer participated in battles near Odessa and Sevastopol, near Feodosia and Novorossiysk. And now you can see the large diesel electric submarine Dmitrov. The commander of the ship is Captain Second Rank Sergei Alenikov. The 877 submarine is one of the quietest submarines in the world. The ship is designed to combat surface ships and enemy submarines. The depth uh, to which the submarine can go is over 350 meters. Underwater speed is up to 17 knots and uh, the submarine can maintain autonomous operation up to 45 days. The ship is equipped with modern uh, torpedo armaments and is capable of performing combat operations both in the near and the far sea zones. During the time of its service, the submarine has repeatedly participated in Russian and international exercises. Today, the crew of the ship reliably uh, provides, uh, is, is reliably used in testing of new generation of ships and equipment. Russian Federation now concludes the procession of the ships on the Neva River and now he goes to the Admiralty. The Admiralty. The history of the Russian fleet is inseparable from the heroic history of our motherland. The Russian Navy participated in almost all of the wars that uh, uh, Russia has participated in. Today the Russian Navy is a balanced uh, Navy. It's a balanced type of armed forces. It includes surface and underwater forces, strategic nuclear, naval, naval aviation, uh, mar marines uh, and uh, coastal troops. The Navy can operate in uh, all of the environments simultaneously, underwater, in the ocean, on the surface, on land, in the air. Its operations extend from the ocean depths to outer space. And uh, this is what makes it unique. This is what makes, it, um, what, what makes the Russian Navy a matter of pride for Russians. The Russian fleet looks to the future, new technologies of Russian shipbuilding, new principles 
on the basis of which new models of weapons and military equipment are designed and developed, new approaches in tactics and strategy of the Navy combined with high professionalism, dedication to their homeland by our sailors, all point to one thing. Russia is reliably protected its sea and ocean borders are reliably protected the boat of the Russian president is now approaching the Admiralty embankment Ship is brought to the Senate Square. The Lion Ship Azov, under command of Captain First Frank Lazarus, won a brilliant victory in 1827 over the enemy ships in the Navarino battle. During the battle, the ships of the Russian squadron uh, lined up against the enemy squadron. battle raged, the ships shook, there was unbearable heat and soot covered people's eyes, and in the midst of it all, Lazarev was commanding the Azov battleship. All the masts were broken, there were holes in the ship, but still he won. Russia won. The victory was came a shock to the to the witnesses. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Pavel Nakhimov, midshipman, Vladimir Kornilov, midshipman, Vladimir Rostomin, and future ship heroes of the Sevastopol defense have proven their uh, fortitude and tenacity in this battle and uh, the Russian 
the Azov line ship was granted a St. George flag to commemorate its role in the battle. And the flag became a symbol of courage, heroism and steadfastness of Russian sailors. Today, the St. George flag of the Azov battleship will once again fly over St. Petersburg to commemorate the merits of the Russian sailors and their protection of the national interests of our motherland. President of the Russian Federation, Supreme Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin. Sailors, midshipmen, petty officers, officers and admirals, dear veterans, citizens of Russia, residents of St. Petersburg, happy Navy Day. To everyone who protects the sea and ocean borders of our Russian, thank you to everyone who serves the, in the Russian Navy, Navy, to everyone who connected their lives to the service in the Navy aviation, in the coastal defense, to everyone who serves for the honor of our Navy. The, uh, the exemplary training and your unwavering allegiance have always been the honor of our Navy. Russia has proven its status as a powerful Navy power that, ca that is able to protect its national interests and defend its land. The history of the Russian Navy is the history of courage fortitude and tenacity of our sailors. We've had wonderful admirals, daring sea explorers, who and great shipbuilders. We still maintain these traditions. In the Navy Day, we feel the power of our naval brotherhood, which unites all of the bases and all of the forces of the Baltic Fleet, the, the North Fleet, the Pacific Fleet, the Black Sea Fleet, and the Caspian Flotilla. The Russian Navy performs tasks to defend its country successfully. It contributes to the battle against international terrorism 
and maintain strategic parity in the world. The interests of Russia in the global ocean are maintained by tens and dozens of ships and submarines. We have the right to be proud of our navy, of our fleets, of, the, of their training and their preparedness, of their operational capabilities, of the power and beauty of our navy. Our people have a special relation with the naval officers of the Russian Navy because only the steadfast and the strong people can serve in the Navy. Only the people who know the cost of uh, exemplary training, of pride, of true nobility, all these combined with great preparedness and training allows our sailors to resolve even the most difficult problems. I thank you for your service. I thank you for maintaining the status of our Russian Navy as an undefeatable fleet. Happy Navy Day! Hurrah! Over the past few years, there have been some quality changes in the Russian Navy. Now, the Russian submarines move under the Arctic ice and engage in combat missions in the Mediterranean and the Atlantic. The surfacing of the crews of the ships of the Russian Navy in 2018 has doubled compared to 2015 and 2016. Crews of ships and submarines carried out more than 550 combat exercises with uh, the use of missiles, torpedoes and mine weapons. New generations of submarines and ships have been used in these trainings and exercises. The development of the naval submarine forces, the development of naval submarine forces is continuing. We've, uh, the Russia is currently constructing five modernized uh, strategic cruisers Prince Vladimir, Prince Oleg, uh, Generalissimus Suvorov, Emperor Alexander III, and Prince Pajarsky. Six multipurpose nuclear submarines are under construction Kazan, Novosibirsk, Krasnoyarsk, Arhangelsk, Perm, and Ulyanovsk. The construction of diesel electric submarines uh, for the Pacific fleet uh, has also uh, begun. The construction of non nuclear submarines, such as 
Lada, Kronstadt, and Veliki Luki is uh, ongoing. The large amphibious ship Ivan Gren has been commissioned. The Ivan Hurs uh, reconnaissance ship has been commissioned. The small uh, Uragan missile ship, as well as the patrol ship Vasily Bikov, have been commissioned. The construction of the Admiral Kasatonov frigate and the Grimnashi and Pilki corvettes and a number of uh, small missile ships is underway. The Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation created uh, units of the naval military police which have already proven their effectiveness during exercises and uh, missions of the Russian Navy. Over 50 exercises of the naval forces will take place uh, in which ships and submarines of the Russian Navy will take part in. We are starting the sea part of the parade. The The flagship of the parade is uh, missile cruiser Marshal Ustinov, which arrived in Kronstadt as part of the detachment of warships of the Northern Fleet. The ship is commanded by Captain First Rank Vladimir Kuzmin. The ship is equipped with uh, modern missile artillery and mine torpedo armaments. Has communications and electronic suppression equipment, as well as a powerful gas turbine power uh, system, which allows the ship to speed up to 32 knots. Zapolarie, the anti-sabotage boat named after the patriotic movement of modern Russian youth. And you can see the Unimermaid's Villa Moria vessel. As you can see, there is a naval Andreevsky flag flying over it. Parade is opened by the landing boat of Peter the Great. It was used by Peter. It was used by Peter the Great, the, the father of the Russian Navy. For the first time, the 
this boat, participated uh, in uh, inspection of the Baltic Sea Fleet on August 11th, 1723. On the 30th of August, 1723, on the day of the Neustadt Peace Treaty, the, bo the boat once again took place uh, in a celebration of the parade. On this day, uh, four Swedish frigates taken captive at Grengen were brought into the Neva River and uh, placed before the Trinity Square. artillery boats. The commander of the group formation is uh, Senior Lieutenant Dmitry Duzik. These ships have small, are of small but little displacement and uh, they still have considerable firepower so they are indispensable for solving and uh, carrying out combat missions in water areas with shallow depths. Now you can see the uh, Novorossiysk Black Banner Marine Corps Battalion of the Black Sea Fleet passing by. Uh, the brigade was formed in uh, 1942 from sailors and officers of the Black Sea Fleet. And now you can see the battle flag of the 15th Guards Marine Rifle Brigade. The sailors of this brigade made up from sailors of the Northern Fleet, the Baltic Fleet and the Pacific Fleet. Uh, fought, they fought bravely and fiercely in battles near Moscow and Leningrad. Type patrol boats. The the group is commanded by Senior Mitchell and Maxim Panov. And uh, now you can see patrol boats approaching the stands of carrying the banners of the first and second guards divisions of the Volga flotilla. They took part in the heroic defense of Stalingrad and used uh, fire, uh, used uh, rocket mortars to destroy the life force and armored vehicles of the enemy. And you can see a patrol boat uh, which was just recently accepted into the commissioned into the Navy. On board you can see the combat flag of the first Sevastopol uh, Brigade of torpedo boats of the Black Sea Fleet. During the Great Patriotic War, the naval officers of this brigade participated in uh, the Kerch-Ferdosia landing operation and the Novorossiysk operation and
encounter in the fight, in the battles over the Taman Peninsula, they liberated Odessa and the Crimea. And now you can see in the parade, parade formation landing boats. Uh, Next, you can see the unique uh, uh, self, I the unique. Um, Van Pasco boat with the uh, something artillery. The ship is modified, the, the weapons on it are modified and equipped with modern fire control systems, satellite navigation and communications. The commander is capable of firing at armored vehicles and fortified enemy objects in a semi-automatic mode. Now you can see the Red Banner Brigade of ship guarding the water area of the Leningrad naval base. The commander of the Mines Reaper group is Captain of third rank Dmitry Shapashnikov. Russia is home not only to mines but also minesweepers. The mine protection and minesweeping system have been developed in Russia since 1907. The experience of the Great Patriotic War has shown that. Russia needs strong mine-sweeping forces, anti-mine forces. Today the naval sea of naval officers perform their duties in exercises and military operations. Minesweepers are equipped with deep water uh, electromagnetic and acoustic trolls to solve uh, and to solve uh, these problem of self defense. They are also equipped with uh, 30 millimeters AK 306 artillery systems. These minesweepers been successfully carrying out demining operations in the Suez Canal and the Persian Gulf. Now you can see the new generation minesweeper Alexander Obuhov, designed by the Almas design, Marine Design Bureau. The commander of the ship is Captain Third Rank Sergei Tikhonov. The mine, the anti mine ship opens a new page in the development of uh, mine sweeping ships of the Russian Navy. It is equipped with a unique uh, uh, robotic. Uh, cybernized mine search system and mine dis elimination system that makes it safe for the crew to search and uh, destroy any kinds of any types of sea mines without entering the minefield.
missile ships of the Baltic fleet, handed by the Morshansk missile boat, the first guards division of the missile boats of the Russian Federation. The commander of the ship is Captain Third Rank Sergei Borisenko. The ship is uh, designed to eliminate warships, uh, transport ships and landing craft of the enemy to strengthen the air defense uh, of uh, Navy groups uh, to protect them from uh, low-flying enemy attacks and to cover them from attack by uh, light enemy forces. Ship, commanded by Captain Third Rank Andrei Popov. Uh, the ships of this project came to be known as Ovals, created as an intermediate link between missile cruisers and missile boats. They are equipped with uh, two. Malachite anti ship missile launchers and the OSA M anti aircraft missile system, as well as the AAK 725 artillery unit. This is a uh, the concentration of firepower with a displacement of over 700 tons. ship equipped with Orlan 10 unmanned aerial, aerial vehicle. The commander of the ship is Captain Third Rank Adil Azimov. The ship is equipped with uh, high precision missile weapons with caliber systems allowing them to strike with the cruise missiles at sea and ground targets. The ship also has an anti-aircraft missile system as well as uh, artillery armaments. This type, this class of ship is unique. Uh, because of its special coating of the hull and a special design which uh, makes it more difficult to see by enemy forces. It reduces the risk of detection by enemy forces. The policy of import substitution made it possible to perfect domestic shipbuilding technologies which allowed Russia to build such ships, ships like this, vessels like this, quickly and efficiently. go to Kronstadt. Here you will see all the ships and vessels who are too large to be able to go through the Neva River. They will pass here, near St. Petersburg. To 
Today, Kronstadt is still the heart and the spiritual center of the Russian Navy. It has been rebuilt and revived, uh, and the, uh, the Kronstadt Sea Cathedral has been rebuilt and once again opened, opened its gates so that it can support our sailors with their prayers. Russia guards missile boat. The captain of the ship is captain third rank Artem Stakhov. Ship. The ship is commanded by Captain Third Rank Alexander Bugovkin. All small rocket ships of this project were assigned names uh, traditionally for heroic patrol ships of the Great Patriotic War. Breeze, Musson, Tuman, Living, Storm, Squall. All these names are still used today and they are still called as the bad weather division because all these names mean all kinds of weather conditions, unfavorable weather conditions. small missile ship of the Buyan M project, a new generation of Russia's Navy missile ship. The captain, the commander of the ship is Captain Third Rank, Peter Petr Lucian. The ship is equipped with a complex of high precision missile weapons with uh, vertical launchers of uh, the caliber model allows it to strike with uh, cruise missiles both sea targets and land targets. The presence uh, of ships like of this kind in the Navy basically erases the line between uh, the vessels of the near sea zone and the far sea zone. ships captain on the ship is uh, lieutenant commander Konstantin Kuzovlev the ships of this class are designed to for search operations for tracking and destroying enemy submarines both independently and as part of a search and strike group Vessels are equipped with surface to air missile system, 76 mm and 30 mm, uh, six barreled artillery units, and uh, torpedo systems, rocket launchers, missile launchers, and uh, deep sea bombs. In June, uh, these ships. successfully discovered uh, the navy of the 
NATO's Navy exercises in the Baltic Sea together with the other ships from the Baltic fleet. They reliably ensure safety on maritime routes uh, in the area of St. Petersburg and Kaliningrad, uh, among other things, during the recent World Cup. Now you can see the newest, the most modern ships built uh, in the actually the oldest shipbuilding plant in St. Petersburg, the Northern Wharf. You can see the Boyki Corvette, commanded by Captain Second Rank Roman Dovgailov, uh, the Admiral of the Fleet of the Soviet Union, Gorshkov frigate. And the large anti submarine ship Severomorsk. The ships are armed with high precision missile system uh, caliber and onyx. They are also equipped with uh, fully manned redoots, anti aircraft systems, and have powerful artillery and uh, mine torpedo armaments. They continue the glorious traditions. The Borky traditions is a worthy successor of the glorious traditions of the Russian Navy. The Borky Corvette, together with the Saw Brazilian Corvette, have uh, been successful in their operation in the northern Atlantic and in the Indian Ocean thus proving the high quality of Russian shipbuilding and the reliability of Russian naval equipment. The Admiral of the Soviet fleet, Gorshkov frigate, is uh, designed and constructed for the Russian Navy by uh, in the Russian wharves and uh, it is the most complex and uh, most modern of all existing naval ships. It is equipped with the most modern types of weapons uh, never previously used. Over 30% of uh, its materials used for the construction of this ship were completely unique and uh, new materials created with new technologies. The protective contour of this ship is capable of uh, this uh, ship is, is capable of uh, accompanying up to 16 aircraft and uh, combination with the automatic cannon of the 130mm caliber and uh, an automatic uh, guidance systems makes this uh, system virtually invulnerable. Next you can see the large anti-submarine ship Severomorsk, which uh, is the multi as part of the multipurpose strike group. Currently, similar ships are used uh, in the waters of the Pacific, Indian and uh, the Atlantic, Atlantic Oceans. The crew of the Severan Morsk have carried out uh, combat missions in the North Atlantic, in the Mediterranean Sea, in the Arabian Seas, in the Indian Ocean, as part of the Northern Fleet Naval Carrier Group, and in the, in the Eastern Mediterranean. There it participated uh, in the military operations in the Syrian Arab Republic. Uh, 
Air Aviation preparing for their flight over St. Petersburg. Will their flight will commence in a matter of minutes. The aircraft uh, from deck fighter planes to heavy long range bombers and transport aircraft will fly. From the airfields uh, as far as 70 to 700 kilometers from St. Petersburg, and they will fl all fly here to the to St. Petersburg, where the parade is being held. So all the pilots, uh, regardless of the technical characteristics of each of the aircraft, and regardless of the weather conditions, need to come and need to get to the specific point, uh, to the appointed place precisely on time in order to pass over the sea capital of Russia in a single group, which is a very difficult task, very demanding task. The large landing ships of the Russian Navy are the backbone of, of the amphibious fleet of the Russian Navy. They are used uh, for landing sea assault, uh, for, for landing uh, and for sea assault, for the transfer of troops and equipment and cargo by sea. The ship can also be used uh, for setting up minefields, uh, for delivering humanitarian aid and evacuating people from dangerous areas. Uh, the ship can take over 700 tons, uh, up to 700 tons of equipment and cargo on board, as well as up to 225 uh, paratroopers. Uh, the crew of uh, the Korolev landing ship has taken part in uh, military operations against, ter against terrorists in the Syrian Arab Republic and participated in many uh, long-range campaigns in various uh, general fleet and international exercises. Now you can see the large uh, amphibious ship called Ivan Gren. It represents a new generation of Russian landing craft. The ship was named uh, in honor of Vice Admiral Ivan Ivanovich Gren, uh, commander of the Leningrad uh, defense art artillery during the Great Patriotic War. The ships, uh, such as Ivan Gren, are capable of transporting and uh, sea assault. Uh, they, uh, can operate in the far and near sea zones and carry out uh, transfers uh, between inland waterways. Next, you can see Ivan Hur's communications ship. The commander of the ship is Captain Clark Ryan Alexander Kostov. Part of the parade is still ongoing. You can see the the nuclear submarine uh, missile cruiser Oriol, designed by Ante. The ship is commanded by Captain Second Rank uh, Kirill Mededa. The nuclear submarine is equipped with uh, 24 anti-ship cruise missiles uh, of the granite model. They have no... They are unique in the world, there are no other 
cruise missiles of the same capabilities. The submarine has torpedo armaments, uh, six torpedo tubes, which can be used for both uh, torpedoes and uh, missile torpedoes. These submarines are sometimes called aircraft carrier killers because one strike from such a from such a submarine is enough to completely eliminate an aircraft carrier. And once again we return to St. Petersburg. And the air part of the parade is commencing. You can see the KM 31 and helicopter. Anti-submarine helicopters KA-27 and KA-28. The leader of the tactical group is Major Evgeny Yarnakov. The, now you can see in the sky over in the skies over St. Petersburg the transport combat helicopters for sea assault, aviation, um, KA-29. Then come the MI-8 and MTV-51 multipurpose transport combat helicopters. Uh, the group is led by Major Evgeny Doutov. Next come the legends of naval aviation modernized anti-submarine aircraft Illusion Il-38M. Group leader is Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel Alexei Zaplavny. Once again, over the skies of St. Petersburg, you can see the tactical group uh, of the unique Russian Northern Fleet uh, naval, naval Aviation uh, repeaters uh, TU 142 MR Oriol. anti-submarine aircraft of the Navy I represented uh, by TU-142MZ anti-submarine aircraft, aircraft the leader of the group is Lieutenant Colonel Maxim Dukinov Of the 
one of his Krafana regiment named after twice hero of the Soviet Union, Boris Safonov. The group is led by Lieutenant Colonel Vladislav Lenin. Next, you can see the MiG 29K, multifunctional ship based fighters, led by Vladimir Kukurin. Finally, SU-25 attack group completes the parade, uh, painting the sky into the colors of the Russian flag. The group is led by Colonel Alexander Otto. The main Navy, naval parade of Russia comes to a close. A long live Russian Navy, a reliable protector of the Russian sea and ocean borders. Hurrah!